welcome back to the hook goddess journey i'm your host Deucey brother the hook goddess and gemini you guys won the bonus reading for the air sign so i'm going to go ahead and do your reading i haven't shuffled out any cards um let me get my shit in order but um yeah also i do want to say if this reading does help you and you want to leave a tip my um cash up and my paypal information is in the description box um also don't forget to leave a comment um i do want to say thank you for having the most views out of all the air signs aquarius hasn't won one yet <laughs> i'm an air sign i mean i'm an aquarius sun but um you know gemini's i fuck with y'all so you know, if you, you, you got the views up, you deserve it, okay? So, um, let's get into your general reading on whatever it is that you need. And then we'll get into your um, love and financial situation. Let's see what cards I want to use for the general. I want to get a crystal out. Let's see what crystals you need. And I'm going to get out um, an affirmation or a message for you guys first to start it off. Um, Y'all might not be able to see the cards, but I'll show y'all as I shuffle them out. <laughs> Why am I trying to shuffle the, the guidebook with it? I'm tripping. All right, so let's get see what crystal Gemini's need to carry or embody. What crystals is Gemini Sun Moon Rising need to carry or embody? Okay, we have orange calcite and that's un it says looks like this and look it matches the stuff. <laughs> Um, you guys are needing to unlock your creativity. Um, orange calcite is spelled like this. Um, will help you unlock that creativity or get in that energy of trying to find inspiration on whatever it is that you're um, wanting. The song that's playing right now is Vibing Out by FKJ. I love this song. Listen to that song, Vibing Out by a fkg fkj is a very chill type of um it's a very chill type of vibe you know if you like to chill smoke you a little weed if you don't smoke weed drink you a little tea um but yeah orange calcite will help you unlock your creativity if you don't find interest in buying any crystals that's okay it's just saying to find that inspiration that's going to help you unlock that creativity start to look at things look at people that inspire you look at things that may find some inspiration the vibe out <laughs> um, um yeah it says break through the fog and break through the fear and hang on to the path of creating um you got this. Just get those vibes in a in a high vibration so you can be able to unlock your creativity. Don't be down. Just do things that you love that's going to help you find that creative creative spark within you. All right, let's get into this baggie. Let's see what messages you have. I have um, affirmations and I have um, tea messages. Let's see what we have for Gemini's. All right, we have an affirmation. It says. I will not conform to the ways of my enemies. Y'all heard that? I will not conform to the ways of my enemies. So you have people around you that's wanting you to be a certain way. And um, that affirmation is basically saying that you won't conform to what they want you to be. So get your creative spark out. Start to do the things that you're wanting to do what to manifest for yourself and um, move forward with it. Um, don't doubt yourself um and don't be in fear let's get into some more messages for you guys let me get the sacred rebels deck this is the deck that i'm using right now and the first deck that i just used was the crystals deck in case you were wondering all 
right, so Sacred Rebels, let's get a message out for Gemini, Summer Rising. I miss doing readings. I'm going to start doing more readings, you guys. So um, be on the lookout. I'm going to give you two more of my time and energy because it's time. <laughs> All right, you have collaborative dreaming. You probably want to collaborate with other people or you have some dreams that you want to um, fulfill that um, requires other people. Um, um, let me look into the book. I'm feeling like I have some more messages that I'm, I'm needing to give to y'all, so... Let's see what the book says about this card. 28. You know, sometimes I feel guided to go to the book and get some more messages, but I feel like it's a lot less meaning. Um, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to find a part because look at all these fucking words for this one damn card. I'm just going to pick out whatever it is that it's telling me. All right, so I'm going to pause and I'll come back. Well, you know back gemini is basically saying um is guiding you to stay in your integrity okay don't conform to these people so that goes with your affirmation um stay stay in your integrity honor what you feel and remember why you chose to open up to group endeavors in the first place so you may have been working as a group or been collaborating with people and you're probably um going through some challenges right now um, when it comes to these people that you're collaborating with. Um, it's saying that you're a part of a new creative learning program for humanity. So it's some things that you're doing that's um, a part of the collective. Um, you may not be working with somebody physically, or if you are, you are a part of a group that's going to change humanity. Um, um, it says this learning program is taking place at a spiritual level and it requires highly individualistic and creative people to learn to work with each other without compromising who they are in order to reach a common creative goal. So don't compromise who you are, okay? You have some people in this group that you're in that's not wanting you to be yourself. It's saying to be yourself, but still, you know, see what your input is, what your, what, 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 what am I trying to say? How am I trying to say it? Um, okay, you have something to offer specifically to the world, okay? Everybody has their own individual gifts and talents that they have to offer towards the world. And you specifically have your gifts and your talents and you do it the way that you, you know, are gifted to do it, you know, as. And other people have their ways of doing the things that they're doing. And some people may not like how you're doing the things that you're doing, but it's saying don't let these people... Um, make you change your methods or how you want to do things because they want you to do it like them. You get what I'm saying? Um, you have rolled dice by um, Roddy Rich playing. Um, things may be a challenge for you right now. Um, you are no longer to think of yourself as a lone wolf. It says, yes, you have your unique path to tread, but you now have tasks to accomplish for your own growth and the greater good that require more than one man band. Yeah, so you're not alone. You have people that's going to, that could help you with um, the things that you're doing, but it's just... Um, It's just you have to get out of that fear of thinking that you're by yourself. You have to do it all by yourself. You're not alone. Um, everybody who dreams, everybody who has um, a dream or has goals that they're working towards. I didn't mean to cut it up. That they have um, dreams and goals that they want to work towards is part of humanity. So whatever it is that you're doing or wanting to do for the world, um, know that.
even if it's something simple as making socks <laughs> you know maybe your socks are a certain kind of socks that's going to help you know the homeless people you know help get homeless people warmer feet or something i don't know whatever maybe you have heated socks or something you know and you want to um get that out into the world to help people who need you know warm feet shit or whatever i don't know but whatever you're doing don't feel like you're alone at it um work with others um even though my, things may be challenging find where you fit in you know to and where you fit in that the group and make it your own make your 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 um gives your collab your what's the words your um contribution that's the word i was looking for make sure your contribution is something that you are um being authentic in okay um everything that you have to offer gemini um all the gifts that you have the talents that you have is uh, is of importance even if you may think it's not important you don't have to change who you are just to become somebody successful it's basically saying that um just to get creative with the things that you're doing and um things will start to work out better for you let's get another card gemini yeah be the hunter not the hunted basically saying don't don't have people try to tell you what it is that you need to be doing um don't you don't want you don't have to be discovered by somebody you don't have to do things for somebody to come towards you you know what i mean like i'm saying like i'm i'm, I'm pretty much saying like you have to have the ability to attract um that abundance you don't have to do anything outside of yourself to bring a certain attention or a certain thing your way um um hunt for the things that you're wanting out of life and it, things will come to you let me see what else this card is saying um yeah trust what you feel beyond appearances the power of magic yeah um your spirit team is helping you the owl represents um wisdom um that inner wisdom use that inner wisdom to help guide you um don't let um don't let anything negative block your path this these this, i'll just look keep looking at me um you probably have a lot of people that's look, watching you um but definitely um go towards the things that you're wanting and know that you can be successful and gain that abundance This is general, so I um, can't really tell you too much else about that. But yeah, just go. Um, go for whatever it is that you're wanting. You don't have to wait for somebody to tell you you're good enough when you already are. Yeah, you have to bring it into form. Bring whatever it is that you're wanting into form into your reality you have the tools you have the knowledge you have the wisdom you have the inner wisdom to um yeah look at this going beyond the normal underneath the bottom of the deck yeah just bring whatever it is that you're wanting into form take that step take that leap of leap of faith get your feet wet <laughs> and going beyond the normal is basically saying um 
you have the keys. Every, okay, the ideas that you have, they are very golden. The things that you want to achieve um, in your life, they are brilliant ideas. Um, you just have to keep working at it, you know? Um, when you put buttons on, um, you have buttons on this, um, this card. When you put buttons on the shirt, you have to put the buttons on individually, right? Um, it's very, um, it's a tedious job. So if you have a jacket that has a lot of buttons, you're going to have to do a lot of work. It takes time before that jacket gets complete. Um, but whatever ideas that you're having in your head is going to change um, the dynamic for you is going to change things for you. It's going to bring that transformation. Um, these um, ideas will be the key to your success. See, she has a key in her mouth, and then the light bulb is um, golden. So, yeah, it will be the key to your success. And this clock um, is on her third eye. Um, it's um, it's all in divine timing. Things may not happen as as fast as you may want to but know that they will um underneath that you have listening for truth listen to what's true to you if it doesn't feel right it's not right if it feels right go forward don't hesitate take action towards whatever it is that you're wanting um let's get some more cards just still general okay yeah blessings your blessings are on the way they are wanting you you just have to step forward um oh, you have to step forward towards the things that you're wanting so your blessings blessings can come in we're not in we're not in mercury retrograde no more so um we got you guys could we'll be able to um step out and not have to worry about certain things um trying to come back and block you but you have to be aware that you have people that don't want to see you succeed so don't um don't let them get you down or don't let them um block your growth and your blessings um you have love this is basically saying love yourself um love yourself enough to bring whatever it is that you want into your reality don't be afraid um you have love all around you people are going to love the things that you're doing you just have to step out and do it what else you have for gemini yeah you're going to be secure the security is going to be there all you have to do is take the action take the action towards whatever it is you're wanting get your feet wet there's the water again the security is going to be there. What else you have? Yeah. Forgive yourself for not moving forward. Forgive yourself for making certain mistakes. Um, forgive yourself for not knowing better. Forgive yourself for knowing better, but not making those adjustments that you needed to make for your life to change. Um, once you forgive those things, forgive the people who may have um, tried to hurt you. Um, and let all that weight of whatever happened be lifted so you can be able to move forward by forgiving yourself and forgiving others you open you you make room for things to come in your blessings to come in you start off with blessings but you have to forgive yourself when you when you um don't forgive certain things and you keep um and you and you stay in this place of um regret that's basically saying you don't forgive yourself um, for the things that you've done. And it makes you feel like you're not good enough. And it makes you feel like you're lacking in something or that you can't come out of it. And that sends a signal to your mind. And um, it, it creates a, a, a energy field of um, negativity because you're pretty much blocking your blessings by being in your head about the things that you've you regret doing that's a low vibration so by forgiving and moving forward you're releasing that you're letting it go this person looks like they're jumping and if you you, you see them um if you see people play basketball they kind of go up like this to release the ball that's what i'm seeing right now I'm saying to release that release the ball and move forward let go of that weight let go of the ball that you have in your hand and embrace um 
the wisdom that you learn, embrace the things that you've um, learned over um, over time when it comes to um, doing the things. I'm just talking, and I, my brain is okay. Let me get it together. My brain is saying a lot of things in my mind while I'm trying to tell you what this card is saying. Embrace <laughs> the things that you feel like let's see what I'm trying to say. Embrace <laughs> embrace this energy of knowing that you you've messed up, knowing that you've may haven't been where you, you may not be where you want to be in life um but embrace moving forward embrace um what it is that you do want embrace your circus your um current circumstances um your current situation embrace whatever situation you're in and that will be a that will help you bring in your blessings that will help you bring change your aura change that energy from being negative and to that regretful energy into something positive positive be grateful for what you have um and it will bring it will work wonders into your life um what else i was going to say I don't know. Um, all right, that's it for that one. Let's get into another deck. Um, let's see how you're feeling right now. Let's see how the Gemini's are feeling. Let's see how y'all are feeling. Okay, you guys are feeling inspired. So um, if you're feeling inspired, make sure you're writing those um, inspirations down and just bring whatever is inspiring you into your reality because you're on the right path. If you're already inspired right now, it's saying to go beyond whatever it is you're doing at this current stage in your life and just move forward. Um, what else? How else is Gemini is feeling? Yeah, you may be feeling guilty about certain things that may have happened. That's that regret. Um, it's saying to forgive yourself. Um, don't put that guilt. Don't hold on to that guilt that's um, that's causing you to stay stagnant. The guilt is making you feel like you're not good enough. Um, yeah, free yourself from that. Yeah, you guys are feeling happy, but you're feeling guilty about something. Don't let that guilt weigh you down. Um, that guilt is going to give, get, put you, um, put you in an energy of blocking your blessings. Why my elbow itching? What? That's weird. <laughs> um. All right. Let's see. Let's get into. Hmm. Let me see why y'all feeling guilty. Why are y'all feeling guilty? Oh, y'all feeling, look, I didn't even shuffle that much, but you guys are probably feeling guilty about a certain situation, your finances. Yeah, know that you're going to be secure. You're, you're feeling guilty about certain things and you probably are trying to make yourself more stable and you're probably feeling guilty because you feel like um the things that you're doing aren't bringing you the things that you're actually wanting but they actually are Um, they actually are going to bring, look, you have balance, temperance on the bottom. Yeah, they're actually, things are actually going to balance out. Um, 
what else about this guilt yeah you're you're just in a place of indecision and it's i feel like you're ind indecisive on what it is that you're wanting to do and um let's see what are they indecisive about yeah has something to do with finances got the king of pentacles yeah, your money. Yeah, your wish fulfillment. Yeah, you take it. You took a risk, but I I think you feel like you feel guilty for taking a risk, and it could be a love situation. Doesn't have to be though. You probably you probably feel guilty for putting yourself first, but who cares about? Um, how other people feels about you putting yourself first just go forward you probably decided to take back your energy and move forward on whatever it is that you're wanting for yourself what else this person is feeling guilty about Gemini yeah you chose happiness don't feel guilty about choosing what's best for you yeah you chose to be happy don't feel guilty about that Gemini there's nothing to be guilty about because loving yourself is um important if you don't love yourself you can't bring in your blessings you can't bring bring in that wish fulfillment that you're wanting for yourself if you don't love yourself you're going to miss out on opportunities okay um let's get into let's get into um The song that's playing right now is Do Wop by Lauren Hill. The Miss Education of Lauren Hill. Um, I love that song. Uh, let's see what else. Let's get into your love situation. What's going on with Gemini? in their love situation. We're gonna look at these cards first. Mm, no. This. <laughs> Sorry. All right, we're gonna use this deck. What's going on in love for Gemini? I hope I'm making sense in these readings because I just Look, I, I, I get the messages out and I completely forget everything that I said after I post this video, after I'm done recording. I hope this helps. Don't forget, if you would like to leave a tip, my information will be in the description box. What's going on in love for Gemini? So you have, this is basically the four cups. Um, there could have been an opportunity that's been missed or a, an opportunity that, it could have been something that you invested in that isn't really what you've been wanting. I say that because you have disappointment. Um, it could have been a lot of stagnancy. You see how these two people are just sitting there watching TV, bored in a place, in a, in a living room, just sitting there, stuff not cleaned up. Um, it could have been like some arguments and stuff that happened. Um, you could be going through some disagreements or recently been um, fighting with someone. Somebody probably broke your shit. Destroyed some shit. And then the song, do I girl, you better. Mm -hmm. You know you better watch out. Some guys, some guys are only. Yeah, some people probably was only about having sex with you. And when y'all not having sex, it's just, it's disappointing. It's like y'all argue. If it ain't sexual, it's like, 
nothing else is is really working for you guys it's like it's chaos um and i feel like you're working you're working on leaving um you have yeah i feel like you're just working um putting yourself into your work and you're um wanting to move out of that situation and you know be solo dolo um it's like you're guarding yourself from um, anything else. But I'm going to clarify these cards so I can get the real messages. Well, the exact messages. Yeah. Um, this is the Nine of Swords. Probably like a lot of makeup and breakup stuff. You're probably nervous about moving forward. Yeah, you chose yourself. You feel guilty for moving forward. Yeah, you felt guilty for moving forward. But if you weren't happy, you weren't happy, you know? So you probably feel guilty for moving out of this situation. Let's see, yeah. You got the Three of Swords. It wasn't very happy. Let me shuffle these cards first. Let me clarify this Four of uh, Cups, though. It's like the relationship seemed to be boring. It wasn't... You weren't, you weren't getting anything out of it. It's like it was stagnant and toxic, very toxic. Um, somebody was fucking up somebody's shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, and it brought some some sadness. And you probably just put yourself in your work. And you're probably working on building your finances to move forward. Um, let me clarify this four cups. What is this four cups? Yeah. Things were moving slow. Things were moving slow. And um, you're going through... Um, a stage of healing and you wanting a new beginning. Um, let's see. Yeah, you want a new beginning. You want justice for whatever it is you went through. You see, he getting his ass whooped. Whoever it is that you left behind, um, you, um, you left them behind and they're going to get karma for whatever it is they've done to you. Let's clarify this five of cups. Yeah, this was in reverse, it came out in reverse. There's no love there. Whatever situation that you're in, there was no love. Let me get some more cards. Yeah, it was um, before I start shuffled that it was a burden to you. It, it's like you were doing a lot. You were doing a lot. You probably was doing every fucking thing to try to make things work, but it, it's just like, it's not, no love there. It was a burden on you. You didn't feel happy. Yeah. And now you're looking at your options. Yeah, because... Um, where you at? You weren't happy. You see this girl? She's crying. Your shit got broke. People broke shit. Destroyed your stuff. Probably took advantage of your finances. Yeah. What else? Yeah. You feel like you missed out on opportunities. Dealing with this relationship, you you're missing out on things that you're wanting, and now you're wanting to find that balance back into your life. All right, let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're wanting to relax. You're wanting to sit back, um, relax, pamper yourself, give to yourself. You're putting work in towards yourself. You chose yourself. Um, you chose your independence. Because you had somebody that was a hoe. You see this guy, he got his cigarette, he's showing off to these other bitches in the back. You had somebody that was in and out, very disrespectful. 
They said shit that'll hurt your feelings, but then try to, and yeah, they was a player. They were playing games. This person that you were dealing with was definitely playing games and they weren't, they, they, they were a hoe. They, they, you definitely probably caught them cheating. But now you're wanting to choose um, your independence. You're wanting to choose um, what's best for you. You know, you're a stand up person. You know how, what, what it is you need to do to, you know, make yourself happy. And you chose yourself. And that's a good thing, Gemini. You chose yourself. Um, you may not feel, you may not be, well, you feel inspired and you feel happy, but don't let you walking away put that guilt on you, okay? Um, you choosing to be happy is you choosing yourself and you choosing yourself is always your number one. You should always choose yourself first because, um, Nobody can be you, nobody can heal you but you. So when you choose yourself, you choose to heal yourself. You choose to give yourself what it is that you deserve. So don't never feel guilty for that, Gemini. Um, people do the things they do and they have the same opportunity as you. Everybody has a choice. Let's see what else. Yeah, you probably going within yourself, pampering yourself, giving yourself more love, giving yourself more spa days. You see, she's relaxing. She's chilling. You got the four swords and you have the hermit. She's over here relaxing, giving herself those baths, giving herself that pampering she needs. And um, you don't have to be a female, but I'm just saying, giving back to yourself is, is a good thing. Um, you're putting in that energy of giving to yourself instead of giving to this person because this person is only bringing disappointment unhappiness um missed opportunities for you um let's clarify this nine of wands <laughs> you have some things okay you may be in the cold right now but you have some things that that's working for you um behind the scenes also you're probably keeping things keeping your moves a secret you see, secret syrup. Um, you're probably keeping the things that you are going to bring to the table, or you're keeping all your cards to yourself. Um, you're leaving things as a mystery. So this person who you're dealing with, um, you're not letting them know what it is that you're doing for yourself. Yeah, you want that balance. So you're trying to make sure you're you're putting okay when it comes to baking i bake <laughs> so when it comes to baking you're making sure you're putting in the right amount of whatever it is that you need um you're being precise on the things that you're doing so you can have whatever it is that you're wanting for yourself you're making sure you're making the right moves for yourself so you can have that ultimate happiness. Yeah, let's see. And you're moving on. What else? Yeah, you're walking away. Eight of Cups, you tired of that shit. You're like, I'm done. Wash your own goddamn dishes. Because <laughs> look, um, stuff with this person probably left stuff with food around this person didn't clean up this person was nasty as fuck they didn't do shit you did all the cleaning you did all the work they were a burden and you're tired of that shit you decided to walk the fuck away look six of swords you want to go toward you look she packed her bag she said fuck this shit i'm walking away what else about this love situation yeah you want some you want real love Yeah, because you're like, what the fuck is this? I don't deserve this shit. You're very passionate about when you're very passionate when it comes to love. And the person that you're dealing with, this person was a shitty motherfucker. Like, nigga, get your ass up. Clean the fuck up. Do you want this shit? Do you want to be with me? That's how you like, nigga, what? Yeah, you sitting there, you sat there waiting because you invested in this to see what was going to happen. But then you got left stuck with a decision. Yeah, and you chose your stability. You chose to be happy. You chose 
to be comfortable. You see, her house is getting built in the back. You not you not worried about nothing. You you want something stable for yourself. So um, you chose that. You you got stuck with decision, and you decided to boss the fuck up. Whether you're a female or male, you decided to boss the fuck up. This heartbreak made you want to give more to yourself, and you deserve it, Gemini. You definitely deserve it. Let me see what advice that comes out for you in this love situation. Yeah, so don't feel guilty, Gemini, for choosing yourself. Don't ever feel guilty for choosing your happiness. If you're not happy in a situation and you have to walk away just to make sure you're, you're, you're sane and your sanity is together, then that was the correct move for you to make. Let's see what advice you have for that love situation. Yeah, creation. You have the power to create whatever it is that you're wanting for yourself. Um, you hold the blueprint. Um, nobody can tell you how your life is. Um, don't conform. Just like your affirmation said, don't conform to what everybody wants you to be. Be who it is you need to be for yourself. Um, nine, yeah, um, 39 breaks down to a 12. 12 breaks down to a 3. 3, it talks about creativity. Start to get creative with whatever it is that you're doing. Creation. You see creation on this card. Get creative with whatever it is you're doing. Um, move forward. Assess the situation. See what roles you played. Um, but know that this cycle is coming to an end. Um, yeah. See, see, see. Um, your mistakes in the situation and use that to help you um, look the song that's playing is Happiness Over Everything by Janae <laughs> by Janae Happiness Over Everything Choose your happiness. Assess certain things that happen in this situation. Take note of it and make sure you don't put yourself in that situation ever again when it comes to love. You're going through growth right now, so things may not be as um, comfortable. Um, we all go through growing pains when it comes to growing out of certain situations and moving forward. Um, you're gaining um, that... Um, You're gaining that um, another level of maturity when it comes to the things that you're doing. So um, it's okay that you made mistakes. It's okay that things didn't work out the way that you wanted them to work out because, um, sorry. Whew. Put my back on this because my. My back is hurting. My lower back. Um, yeah, you're growing, so don't let um, these mistakes make you feel like you can't move forward. What else you have for this advice? Um, hunger. Also, um, this is basically saying not to um, blindly guide yourself in a certain direction. Like, no your purpose for doing things know why you want to do things um don't just blindly search for something without being um specific on what it is that you're want, wanting you know don't just say i want love or don't just say i want a relationship that's this but then um what I was trying to say but I feel like it's basically saying find balance within yourself and just don't 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 blindly put yourself in positions because you want a certain thing you know make sure you are assessing um situations and definitely being observative of the people, the places, and the things that you're 
entertaining, okay? Yeah. At the bottom, you have will. You have the free will to do whatever it is you want. Um, so don't think that you have to do things a certain way. Um, you have new beginnings. You won't always be in this cold forever. Remember, you have fortitude. You're in the snow. You won't always be in this position forever. Things are going to warm up for you. Things are going to get better for you. Things are going to be balanced. You have extremes on the bottom. This is basically saying not to let extreme situations. I know this person may be tearing up your shit, breaking your shit, trying to destroy your happiness, trying to destroy your peace because they don't want to see you happy because you're leaving them behind or because you're cutting them off or wanting to cut them off. Don't let these situations um, fuck with you, okay, um, stuff is just stuff, don't, don't be attached to material things, people like to ruin people, ruin your shit, because they don't have shit to be ruined, okay, um, just know God, spirit, source is going to bless you with 10 times more and better things, um, to replace those things that has been destroyed um so if somebody's been fucking up your stuff doing things to try to hurt you make you feel sad make you feel like it's the end of the world you know um approach these things in a calm way don't give your energy to it um find a calmer solution walk away from the situation um keep your peace keep your peace just for you you know keep that keep that peacefulness just for you let them do whatever the fuck they want to do because remember that um that card that came out the justice card that was on the bottom that they gonna get their ass whooped whoever decided to fuck with you and whoever decided to do the things they wanted to do to hurt you they're going to get their karma for even doing that or even choosing to want to do that to you in the first place and you're going to be getting blessed while they're getting their ass whooped you're going to be getting blessed while they're getting their ass whooped all right, let's go into your financial situation. Let's see how your finances is going to be. Let's see about your financial situation. You already said we already had security, so we know that your finances is going to be good, but I'm just going to go into more depth into your finances. What else do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising? in their financial situation i'm sorry that y'all went through whatever y'all went through in y'all love situation but know that things get better i've been through a lot of bad relationships whether it was intimate or platonic but when i chose myself i felt that relief and i felt a lot better i i you know some things you have to work through as far as healing, but know that you will get through it. Um, by being in that creative energy, it gives you that that extra push. That's why I feel like the crystal that came out for you, um, unlike your creativity, is trying to get you to give yourself that extra push, that extra drive towards whatever it is that you're wanting. Because you may be feeling guilty and this could be keeping you stagnant because you feel guilty all right let's see what's going on with your finances yeah you're going to get justice whatever was fucked up remember that card with the ass whooping this is the same card pretty much just in another deck you're going to get justice whatever was taken from you destroyed um lost um Whatever somebody used you for is going to, you're going to get justice. The song that's playing is Kings Run It by Masigo. Yeah, you have, um, this is basically the magician. This is basically saying you have all the tools you need to create whatever it is you want in your reality as far as your financial situation. But know that your finances are going to be fine. You're going to get justice. Yeah. Um, you have the four of swords. This is basically saying you don't have to worry. Rest. Relax. When it comes to your financial situation. Um, you could be a teacher, kindergarten teacher to be exact, but you don't have to be. Um, you could be very um, giving, very loving, very kind, very sweet, you know. 
you're going to be offered something when it comes to finances. It may come in as a small offer, so you may not recognize it as something huge, but it's going to be a big opportunity for you. Yeah. Let's see what else. That's the five of wands. It could be a competitive, um, whatever you're working, whatever field you may be working in, it could be competitive. It could be a lot of people doing the same thing you're doing, but I feel like you're going to succeed in it because um, you have something to offer that's, you know, very different. So like in the beginning when we was talking about when the beginning of reading and we were talking about collaborative dreaming, you could be in an environment where you're doing the same thing as other people, but you probably, you probably, um, you probably are, um, feeling like, like, Okay, you know when when you're doing the same thing as other people, it's just like, okay, well, you know, they're doing the same thing. So, you know, how can I be, you know, creative when we're all doing the same thing? You know, this person does it this way. Well, you have some creative ideas. You just haven't put them into action. And they're saying to put them into action. Don't doubt yourself when you come up with these creative ideas. Everybody do their thing their own way. But you stand out by being authentic in whatever it is that you're doing. So whatever creative things that you're um yeah you're in your head about it you're trying to play your cards a certain way because you see that people do things a certain way but um it's causing you to self-sabotage but know that change is coming i see five five fifty five five represents change yeah you're going to have a shift you have the tower this is trump tower um in the sinking um there's going to be a shift. There's going to be a big change when it comes to your finances. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, look at this. Abundance. You're going to be abundant. Once that shift comes, you're going to be abundant. You're going to be able to celebrate. Um, if your birthday hasn't came yet, you're going to be able to celebrate how you want to on your birthday. You're going to be able to do the things that you're wanting to do. You're going to be abundant and you're going to have balance. This is a temperance card again. Um, you could be into art. You could be an art teacher. Um, you could be any kind of teacher actually, but let's clarify some more. about this justice yeah you're going to get whatever it is you're wishing for your wish fulfillment yeah you're going to be able to heal and this is going to make you make you even better make you even better um during your healing process you're going to be able to give to yourself so you're going to be independent this nine of pentacles represents independence um you're going to be able to you're going to have everything in order for yourself you're going to be fine your um money is going to be fine actually yeah you're going to have that stability there she goes again yeah you're going to be able to provide for yourself and you may be may even find if you, you may even um, find somebody or get into a relationship with someone else who's going to help you, but th that doesn't have to be the case. But um, you may um, meet somebody who's going to want to take care of you. Um, this also could mean that you're going to be able to provide for yourself. You're going to be um, in that masculine energy to go after whatever it is you're wanting and you're going to be super secure where you can relax you don't have to go out every day and work you're going to have money coming in without you even having to actually do any heavy duty work you see he chilling yeah 
Yeah, you're gonna have victory. You're gonna have all the new nice things and everybody's gonna be watching you succeed. Everybody's looking in at all the new stuff that you got, new things that you're bringing into your life because you put yourself first. You change your perspective on things. Clarify this five of wands. Yeah, look, five of wands, clear about the five of wands. People are going to be competing with you. They're going to be seeing whatever it is you're doing and they're going to try to compete with whatever um, um yeah you have a lot of people that's that's um that's not happy <laughs> at what you're doing for yourself because you chose yourself that's probably why you're feeling guilty but don't feel guilty for choosing yourself i'm gonna say that a million times um these people are trying to compete with you they're probably jealous of you um they want what you have they want to try to be better than what you are doing but you're authentic. Being yourself is is all you can be. So um, don't ever feel bad for being yourself. Um, don't let people um, try to tear you down because they're trying to compete with you. Yeah, people are being very immature. People are probably being immature and probably showing you um, or giving you a little bit of love. Like, you're probably only getting a, getting showed a little bit of love. I know this has nothing to do with finance, but I feel like you're being, for whatever it is that you're doing, you're not getting a lot of support from others. Um, and that's probably making you feel a certain way, but, you know... People don't support support you until they see that you're doing good for yourself. You know what I mean? So just continue to move forward. <laughs> I put this card back in here, and the and the when I was just talking just now, and it just came right back out. And then the sun is at the bottom. What is it trying to tell me? Um, let's see what this page of cup is about. You probably knew at whatever it is that you're doing. It's probably something new. Yeah, but you're going to have victory in it. You're going to get the recognition that you deserve. You got the six of wands again. These both have the same card. People are going to be looking at you, seeing what it is you're doing. You're going to get recognized. People are going to see what it is that you're doing. And, um, you're going to start to get support from people and the people that's around you are going to be trying to compete with you because they see that you're financially stable. They see that you're um, doing good with your money. Yeah, they see that you're happy. That's the sun twice, the sun and the sun. Yeah, you're, you're a hard worker. You're very passionate, you're very, um, into whatever it is that you're doing they see that you're happy and people are going to see that you ended shit with people and you you start healing and you start going after whatever it is that you're wanting gemini and you're getting justice you're getting abundance you're getting balance you're getting that that relationship uh, somebody's going to come in you have the relationship eight of wands you're going to get somebody you're going to come into some love too somebody's going to come in and give you that love that you deserve and they're going to come in fast and sweep you off your feet and they're going to bring you that balance and they're going to bring you that clarity they're going to shoot their shot they're going to shoot their shot it's going to be very flirtatious and um um loving this person is going to be very honest very truthful with you too um but yeah I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, do I want to get out any other cards for you guys? Let's see what you guys may need to heal and then I'll leave that. I'll leave it at that. Okay, what else you guys need to work on healing? Um,
with this Gemini need to work on healing at this time so they can continue to look gilded regret. Don't regret. Don't regret. What did I tell you? Don't regret your decisions. Don't feel guilty. Move forward. Move forward. Don't hold on to those things. Forgive. All right, Gemini, if this reading helped you and you want to leave a tip, like I said, my Cash App and my PayPal is in my description box. Um, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for being patient um, with me getting this reading out to you. I feel like it comes out when it's really needed and I feel like you guys really needed this reading at this time. Um, thank y'all for all the fucking views, Gemini. That's the most fucking views I ever had. Um, on um, a reading for a zodiac sign, like, come on, a thousand, one, one K something, come on, y'all fucks with me. I fucks with Gemini's anyway. I love y'all, so I'm glad y'all came here and showed the fuck out. I'm glad y'all came here and showed the fuck out and gave me um. The love y'all did. Don't forget to subscribe. It was so many of y'all. Y'all didn't even subscribe. Because if y'all subscribe and I get to a thousand um view a thousand subscribers, I can go live and do this and we can interact with each other. And I want to interact with y'all. So Gemini's, if you like this reading um or it relates to you in a way and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe so I can start going live. I only have like a hundred and something um followers subscribers so i can't go live yet so when i get to a thousand i'll be able to go live and give this to y'all in real time and that'll be even better for me because i'd rather go live so yeah i'll holla at y'all peace i hope y'all got a lot from this much love